Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, y'all. So we are in episode three of the Front Yard Renovation. If you're new here, hi, my name is Imani. Do not forget to subscribe if you like any of my content. And if you're returning, then hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys coming back to another video. So guys, we are making progress, y'all. We are moving on along. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Super excited. You act like I just got a Been the number one diva in this game So I'm If you're new here, hi, my name is Imani. I do things all home decor, making over spaces, and creating space that I want to live in. And if you like any of that content, do not forget to subscribe before you leave out. And if you're returning, then hey, beauties, welcome back to the channel. So, y'all, it's been a lot going on, okay? I know I've been doing, like, a lot of polls and stuff online, asking y'all, like, <laughs> if I should do the walkway or not. Okay, so, now y'all know. I'm always down for a challenge, okay? And I love to create. And I love to, like, do things that I've never done before. Because I don't believe it's anything out there that I just cannot do. However, this sidewalk situation, as I was looking at the comments, and that's not even what necessarily um, discouraged me. But it was certain comments that was in the comment section that made me realize why it wouldn't be or wouldn't go as planned as I wanted it to be. First off, I got a hump in the yard, and I didn't even notice it until one of my subscribers in the comments was like, well, one of your um, issues is that the root of your tree that you got in front of your house is making a hump in your yard. So that's number one. The fact that I had a hump in my yard is why it really wasn't level. Okay, that's number one. Number two is that because of that tree is in the way, I really can't really extend it how I really want to. Even if I was to curve it, I still feel like my curve was kind of like not curved enough. And I feel like that tree is just was just in the way. And then number three, I just feel like, yeah, I could do it, but I don't really want to do it and it don't look like professional and stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to pay nobody to do it because obviously that's what I got my channel here for is to show y'all that we can DIY it and stuff like that. I will um, attempt to do it again one day, but guys, right now, I don't think I'm going to do it. However, I did come up with a new idea. It's not the walkway, but I think I want to create like a garden next to um, like my front door. So it's like this like grass patch. It's kind of like patchy. It's like grass and dirt. And I think I want to create like a garden right there. And I think I can still use the same um, edging that I had before. I think I can still use that and actually edge it off right there. And just kind of just put like plants and stuff right there. So I think that will definitely bring um, a different kind of vibe to the space as well. I really need to go ahead and buy the plants for the porch. And I was also thinking about putting um, some chairs on the porch. Comment below and let me know. 
have you guys ever put like chairs on your porch or like do you guys think that it'd be like a good look for my porch i put two chairs out there and i think it look kind of cute I think I'm going to show y'all how I look. Now, okay, so remember I was telling y'all that I was going to probably put flowers along um, the little front part where I was starting to dig at right there where it was um, unleveled. So basically what I did was I leveled it. And I'm going to show y'all here in a minute. I leveled it and I ended up taking the dirt from the other side and bringing it down. And I just ended up painting the other side that matches the rest of the porch that I painted in the gray. So that's what I did for that. But I feel like it's going to be a lot going on in this video today. Um... That's what been taking like a little while just to get the video out is because I wanted to figure out if the walkway was something that I actually wanted to do. And if I didn't want to do it, you know, what could I actually add different that would actually satisfy my needs? We're going to go ahead and get started. I think we're going to go to Lowe's today. Probably start getting like the plants and stuff maybe for like a little garden. And then put like two trees on like the porch. We'll just have to see what it do. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all. Why did I end up getting cute though? I'm like, hold on, do I want to film today? <laughs> or do I want to go to lunch? I'm just saying. But y'all, we are at Hobby Lobby right now, y'all. And the time right now is 11.39? 35? And the reason I came to Hobby Lobby is because, one, I, um, like I said, I wanted to get some plants. But, yeah, I think I want to get fake plants for the outside. I don't think I want them to be real plants. I mean, they can be real plants. I'm talking about the plants that actually sit. That's going to sit like on the side of the door. Comment below if you guys actually have fake plants outside on the side of your door. If it's a good alternative. So I won't have to flower the real plants. And will they last if I do get the real plants? Because I really don't want to get the real ones. Because I feel like if I don't water them and stuff. Then they're going to die. Versus having the fake ones. I can just kind of decorate all season. If that make any sense. So. And then I ain't got to worry about them dying. We about to go ahead and head in. So. Let's go okay y'all so as soon as i came in i end up coming across these right here these in particular i think are more than the um real plants because i want to say <laughs> because i want to say the ones at um lowe's and home depot was probably like maybe 34 for like the real ones but I'm looking at these right here, y'all. And I'm like, should I get one of these fake ones or what? Like, what are we doing? But they starting off at $100. Let me just say that. But they're cute, though. Like, this one is really cute. This is 100 It says four feet. And then I'm like, so this is what I'm thinking. If I was to get one of these, and they are 50% off as well. If I was to get one of these, um, I could, let's see see these are cute too but if i was to get one of these y'all i could um raise it up inside of my pot that i already have but as y'all know if y'all haven't seen the pots already my pots are a little bit wider than these and then the other ones kind of fit just right so i don't know but it is a lowe's out here so we will end up going to lowe's anyway but i just wanted to see the kind of trees that they had um these are really cute but this is giving me more of a um vacation like tropical vibe i want to i want a tree that look more traditional like even this is like a nice traditional tree but i like these two as well i think these are real cute in like an office though but yeah but i did see these now these are 129 now this is kind of the look that i'm going for but i'm like do this look too fake or no like let me know in the comments I think they're cute. They're 129 and they are 50% off. If I was to get two of these, obviously I'll be paying half, but it's like they 129. Like, what the? I'm not sure if that's worth it, but they do look cute. Um, and then they got like these over here. I like these too. These are really cute. I like those two as well, but let's just see if they got anything else that stands out these are all the pots but as y'all know if y'all don't know i am doing black pots so these i'm not even worried about because i am gonna do black pots but y'all i know i ain't told y'all but i think i want to do a bathroom makeover and the flowers are on sale right now y'all and i think i want to pop a color in the bathroom i know i know what y'all thinking what color yes sis i think we're gonna pop a little color or two these are 50% off and I was looking at these and I'm like, should I get, these are cute, but I'm trying to, oh, these are pretty. 
How much is these? I'm gonna try to stay on track, y'all. Up to 10 feet tall and two to three feet wide. And how much is that one? 184. What is so special about that tree? The way they're grown. Oh, okay. It's a little extra. So, I wonder how much is these. These are cute too. Um, those are. Those are cute too. 69. 69? Okay. These will get. Up the, okay. Up the 10 feet tall? Okay. Alright. Um. I can ask your plant lady to come out here. Cause hmm. she knows more about the plants about where you're are you wanting something for like a yeah it's just a, or yeah it's just like a um for decoration decorations and how much is those right there which one the purple one of these 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 kind of cute yeah. 32 32 but i wonder if Those are 36. These are 32. These aren't dead, right? No. But the. I would have to repot them, right? Yes. For 32. Can you take one down to see how it look on the, on the car? Those are big. Yeah, they'll get bigger. Yeah, what y'all think about this plant right here? So. See, I'm not good at planting though. You said this would get bigger by the door. Yeah, it'll grow. Oh, three to five feet tall and four to six feet wide. Okay. So this is actually more like a bushel gill for this way. Mm. Basically as tall as I am wide, about five feet tall. As tall as you, okay. Be about that here. Oh, okay. Okay. And that'll be how wide it'll be? So like it'll... Yeah, it's mm. more of a bush. Mm. Now you can trim them back also. Okay. Mm. And the bush is probably what I don't want. Probably, right? Especially for like a front door. Well, some people will put a bush on each side to match where going in. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So yeah, I don't know. So I I don't think I want a bush because I don't want it to be too wide. I feel like I want it to be more like tall and narrow more than anything. Cause I don't want it to like overcrowd like everything. You have the climbing mm -hmm. roses. You can climbing trellis, roses. You can put trellis behind it and it'll climb up the trellis. How much are those? Let me see. Have you guys ever heard of climbing roses? Oh, these look pretty small. Oh, these are, oh yeah. They grow as tall as you train them. So if you want them to stuff this high, yeah. that's just, you just trim them off, that's it. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Because this is giving me a Christmas tree vibe right here. Right there now, it is, okay. We might be. And those are cute, but I don't know. We got these right here. Okay. These are thirty nine ninety eight. Okay. These will get 15 feet tall and four feet wide. This one will be marked down. You said it's marked down? Yeah, it will be. Okay. Why? Because of the season or something? Where it's... Okay. Where it's not got a lot of sun in some spots. Okay. I really want... They got some cute stuff out here, y'all. I really want... Um, uh, so... I really want the little pantry things i think i see one for like 30 something yeah i really want to get it it's, it's really pretty um and i just yeah i think that's what i want to get so comment below and tell me what you guys think about like the palm trees not the palm trees comment below and let me know what you guys think about the pine trees and stuff i think they're really cute on each side of the door 
and stuff like that um and i think it'll be easy to take care of for like my first little plant at least if i'm gonna have them on the side of the door i'm gonna have to take care of them so um like i said not sure if we're gonna get all of the um small plants and start planting today i just kind of want to see how the trees look next to the door what like you know little decor and stuff like that so okay guys so these are the ones that i'm going to get it looks like they are on sale and they're pretty tall already which is good the original price on them are 52 and i think they're half off so we're going to go ahead and get these and load them in a truck yep so this is what they're called right here let me know what you guys think about these also uh in the comments below let me know if you guys have any of these trees as well i just think they're really elegant and i think they just are very um transparent to where i kind of just put like any kind of decor but let me know we're getting these and then we're heading out heavy too there they go y'all so excited thank you so much you too thank you good morning to my lovely people okay y'all so we are outside this morning and i want to first off show y'all the trees and then show you how the front porch and stuff is looking so the trees are behind me are you guys ready to see it i'm so excited okay guys so here is the trees now these are the evergreen trees and i just think these are very classy and i like the look of these as well i did end up getting two of them they were on sale um so okay so this is the situation right okay so this is how the inside look but it's kind of like clay tell me in the comments below is this normal and is this soil is this soil and dirt or is it just dirt or is it just soil and if it's like clay like this is that normal or like do that mean it's bad soil now this one over here is kind of the same and i thought it was more like dirt but this is kind of the same too as well both kind of got like that compact like soil dirt i guess but guys look how beautiful like look how gorgeous the tree is absolutely gorgeous uh it's kind of like a pine tree a little bit but i did end up getting the real trees um this was the original price on them and then this is if you buy like 20. so this is the potting mix that i end up getting this is the thing so they came in these pots but the lady told me that i would need pots that's at least 20 inches wide just so they can have room which makes sense okay um but now y'all i think i want to actually plant these in the yard in front of the porch at first i was gonna like get a pot and put them on the porch but i think it'd be a lot cuter and i feel like it'd kind of make the porch kind of look extended and just like just look better overall um if i just planted them and i think that's what i want to do y'all is plant them in the ground and i don't know if that's harder than planting it on the um planting it in the pot or not but comment below um if you guys have these trees um at your home and then also if you guys do have it did you guys plant them yourself so this is how tall they are right here um it's actually they actually taller than me so this this is how tall they are very beautiful tree y'all i love this I'm not sure if these brown ones mean they just need to be back alive, but comment below. Let me know if you guys have these trees at home. And if so, um, is it hard to take care of? This is my first like plant tree. Um, and this will be my first time trying to plant a tree. So leave tips below because I do not know how to plant these and I'm not sure exactly how to go about it. Like I Google some stuff, but I'd rather just like, I wish it was somebody here to kind of like, like kind of help me. But um, yeah. So, got two of these. So, y'all, yeah, this is the um, card right here. Okay. This is the tree that we got. And it gives you directions on the back, y'all, but I am nervous. I've never planted a tree before. 
but it does give you like directions in the back but i don't know how much of a help that's gonna be for me first off get into this cute cup y'all I ended up getting this cup yesterday from Target when I was out looking for plants, y'all. It is so cute with my little gold straw. Y'all, yeah, this is so cute for my iced coffee. Super cute, right? Anyways, so I want to plant these in the ground. But I'm going to show y'all how it look when they ask me on the porch. And then we're going to kind of place them um, on both sides of the porch just to see how it looks. So let's go. That's crazy. I just realized I didn't even put them on the porch. I went straight in and put them in the grass. That's because my mind was so focused on planting them. And my mind was kind of already made up. But they was cute on the porch too. But I think I want them in the grass, y'all. Y'all, Okay, y'all, so, um, right now, so, basically what I want to do is, okay, y'all, okay, obviously y'all can see where the ground is not level, which is annoying, okay, and that's because of the root of the tree, and this is why I did not do the walkway. Now, this side looks taller because it is, because of the ground. I would have to dig this out and level it for the plant okay and both plants have to come out the bucket um so this is how it looks so far and right now i am liking what it's giving y'all i think the trees is really making it look really cute and really nice um especially like on each end and I think it'll really bring some class to the front yard too as well. Because like I said, at first I wanted them on a porch, but I think they'll look better on the edges. Comment below and let me know. Do y'all think it'll look better on the edge of the porch right here or on the porch? I think it looks better on the edge right here because it just makes the porch just look more grand in my opinion, in my opinion. But comment and let me know what y'all think. But yeah, y'all, let me know what y'all think so far. Um, I like the look. I like the um, porch with the chairs too as well. And I think it'll be really cute.
telling me that I did not have to um, use this. I might as well just put the dirt back in there. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Because on Google and what I was hearing from the lady at Lowe's the other day, she was like, she was real big on soil. You know, she was like, you know, you pack it with that soil, you know, up to the brim, and then you water it as much as you can. So that's what she told me. So I'm going to use this for one, because I bought it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to put the soil, uh, you know, around there. And just hopefully it grows, y'all. Um, everything is kind of broke up far as like for the roots to be able to be exposed to where, you know, the tree is able to grow. What I want to do is, and comment below if you guys think the same thing. I think what I want to do is, y'all, I think I want to just take, not mulch, but I think I want to take dirt and actually level it up under this porch part and just kind of level it to where it's gonna be level with this side of the porch you know because obviously um obviously you know the yard is not leveled so that's what i'm thinking about doing it's just taking dirt along there and stuff like that but i think now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and start putting this in comment below if you guys ever use this um for like these kind of trees like i said these these are the emerald green abortive tree i think um and stuff like that so i'm just pretty much going to like shift it or whatever and then see um you know just kind of shift it to where it's like even like in the middle
guys so this is how the trees are looking i'm liking it y'all comment below let me know what you guys think okay like i said i put one just like a little bit on the edge but i think it's looking pretty good comment below let me know what you guys think right now i want to go to another project um but this is how it looks so far y'all I put some dirt down here over top of the um, soil um, so the soil won't wash away and stuff when it rains and all that so um, that's what's right here and then I have like extra dirt on the side of here and then I also have extra dirt over here but I think I'll probably put that um, fill that with some holes and stuff in the yard but um, so yeah this is how this is looking right now I like the way it look y'all comment and let me know do you guys have these trees at home i heard um people use them for like privacy and stuff like that too i'm not sure but this is how they look y'all i'm loving them and i think they look better out here on each end right here versus on the porch because as you can see i can still do like my um decor and stuff on the porch and just have the trees sitting out here so i'm excited let me know what you guys think I want to work on this right here okay so this is the thing this is like a brownish like grayish color and the accents are kind of black so because my front door is black I want to make this black right here okay and that's what I want to do real quick I do have the black paint already so we're going to go ahead and start to paint this and put some painters tape on it because I want to make the little window things black and then I have another one down there too as well so that's what we're about to go ahead and do right now Okay, so yeah, I wanted to show y'all how the little um, window ended up turning out. I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. And then we have another one down here. Okay. I think they turned out really good. It make a lot more sense black. This is how the porch is looking right now. It's filthy. The reason why I want to get this cut down, as you see, these little like brown spots are from those acorns okay standing my porch that tree got to go all right so this is just all from dirt and stuff like that but everything has to be cleaned up this is the mulch that i am using right here um so i'm gonna go ahead and mulch real quick and then water okay y'all so your girl's back on the cami cam so 
we are back outside later in the evening remember I said earlier that we still had to mulch and water so I did just finish mulching I will show y'all how it looks and then I'll go ahead and water it and I'll show you guys how I water it and stuff like that um, and then um, I think I'll close out after that um, the next video should be the decorate with me uh, we got like all the groundwork done as far as like the landscaping and stuff like that so the next one should be to decorate with me so I know you guys are excited with, because that's like the funnest part but yeah we're gonna go ahead and water this mulch and then we'll close out so so guys this is how um, the trees are looking after I mulched it I just put the mulch right around um, as wide as the um, circles was and then I'll probably just like maybe like flatten it out a little bit more but so far um, this is how they are looking I think they look pretty good the mulch actually kind of make it look a little cute in my opinion <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and just spread it out and then we're gonna water it I'm not sure exactly how much water I need but I just want to um, water it enough so but this is how it looks right now with the mulch let me know um i should water the mulch too right so should i water the mulch and like the inside of the tree because that's basically what i'm doing is i'm watering the mulch and the um inside of the tree as well so comment let me know like when y'all plant child trees or whatever, do y'all just try to get like closer to the middle and the root? Or do y'all like kind of do the whole thing like the mulch and everything? Okay guys, so that's gonna close out today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed everything that happened today. Um, the decorate with me and everything should be next. So what did you guys think about today's video? I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Do not forget to like the video and comment your favorite part in the comments. Let's have a conversation. And then also, guys, don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you will be notified every time I upload a video. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.